In previous videos, we back-tested and looked at the pre-market high break strategy, and the overarching conclusion was that it was a pretty solid and profitable setup. In today's video, we're taking that one step further by trying to find the best way to approach this strategy that gives you the least amount of risk and the most potential upside, so make sure you stick around. What's up team, it's John from Beginner Trading and we're not back testing today. In today's video, we're looking deep into the pre-market high break strategy and finding the best way for you to make money with it. There's a lot of different ways to approach it, but in this video specifically, I wanted to delve into two specific ways to approach this profitable day trading setup. As always, if you want to help support our completely free day trading, investing, and swing trading content, you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button below, and if you click the bell next to that, you'll get an alert every single time we go live. We day trade live on stream for free every weekday morning on YouTube, so we'll hope you'll join us then, and let's take a look at these setups. Okay, so it's no secret that I really love the pre-market high break, especially lately. This is shown to be incredibly effective and not only do you get a really nice burst of momentum after this level actually breaks, but many times the stock will actually hold this level as support after it breaks it and then continue up in a really strong way. Being patient and waiting for these pre-market high breaks are the hardest part of trading them in my opinion. If you've been watching my trading the last few weeks, you know I've been trading probably a little bit too active. But once I actually started to restrict my trading and limit my trading to only pre-market high breaks and the next strategy on this list, again, it's just been a really profitable change to my trading overall and it's definitely something I'm going to implement in the future with this specific trading system that I'm building. You know, anytime you're building a trading system, it can be really hard to actually find out what's working and what's not. But one thing that has shown to work consistently here is pre-market high breaks. So let's take a look at a few different examples of this specific strategy so you can understand what I think the best way to approach these actually is. The first pre-market high break I wanted to review was from MARA from today. And you can see this one had a really obvious pre-market high right around this 178 level. And if you look at when it actually broke this point, not only did we get a really nice burst in volume to take advantage of, but once it actually broke this level, it held it as support. And so I know a lot of the time just the conventional pre-market high breaks can fake you out. But if you wait for these to actually hold support there and then get in on that break right here instead, that can be a really powerful way to approach this strategy as well. Again, the big key to this is you just have to have the patience to wait for it. Pre-market high breaks are not something that we get every day, but if you can wait for moves like this, again, it can be really, really powerful for your trading. Another pre-market high break to analyze is from RIOT from today. And again, you had a really nice pre-market high that was pretty obvious up here at 304. And not only did we hold that level as resistance at first, which gives it some more confirmation when it actually breaks, but when it broke, it held that level as support, very similar to the last one. And so what I'm looking at doing here is waiting for the break of the pre-market high and then getting in on a little mini dip buy to hold that level as support. If we get that, if it breaks back under the pre-market high in any significant way, I can understandably get out of the trade, but if it holds that level as support, a lot of the time we're gonna get a really nice boost in momentum, and you can even look at the volume here and see how much the volume increased when we got that pre-market high break. And so that means a lot of other traders are actually watching for this level to break as well, and it's something that makes a lot of sense on a momentum basis. And so that's what we're ultimately looking for. So to delve a little bit deeper into a cheaper stock that breaks the pre-market high, here's one from today on XELA. And you can see when this one initially broke the pre-market high, it actually faked us out a little bit, but it did not hold that level as support. And so this kind of confirms our view and waiting for it to hold support, which we did eventually get right here. And if you can wait for this hold right here as support, you can see the volume actually came in once we broke that previous high up here. And so again, this confirms what we previously thought. And this is actually what it showed us during the back testing session as well, is that instead of getting in right when it breaks the pre-market high, wait for it to hold support there and then get in on that high break instead. In this case, just to give you an example of that, that would be right here at around 62 cents. And so instead of getting in right at that 58 cent pre-market high break, wait for it to hold support like it did and then break that 62 cent level where you had that previous high above it. That can just be a really effective way to approach the trade. And again, I think the volume kind of confirms it. You can see the volume start to increase here at 915 and just kind of shoot up when we actually got that pre-market high break and it held as support. And so I hope that makes sense. And this will be a common theme that we're looking at. 
And just to look at one more example from Riot from yesterday, this one did the exact same thing. And so this is a noticeable trend I'm seeing with this pre-market high break. And so you got the pre-market high right here at this 290 level. When it actually broke above that level, you can see it dipped down and it held that level as support. So when it broke that previous high that it formed right around 296 here, you can see we got a really nice surge in momentum and volume to take advantage of. And so consistently here, I'm seeing a lot of momentum and volume come in once that previous high over that level breaks and I know I back tested this and it worked out really really well but this kind of confirms that view with the most recent gappers here with like RIOT and MARA is that this certainly works if you can approach it and attack it the right way and so that's how we're gonna approach it moving forward and so here's one example of the pre-market high break from today that immediately gapped up a huge amount after it was halted and did not hold support but continued to run up a big amount. And this kind of shows the flaw in waiting for it to hold support there because you're sometimes going to miss big momentum moves like this. And so I think if you're looking to trade the pre-market high break like I am, you kind of have to weigh the risk reward with both of these different options. With the first option where you're waiting for it to hold support there, you have to weigh the risk of missing big moves just like this and if you're trading it without waiting for it to hold support there you have to weigh the risk that it's going to just potentially fake you out and it's going to be a losing trade that is much less accurate and so those are the two options i think in my opinion is number one waiting for it to hold support there and number two jumping in looking for a big momentum move in my opinion, if you're going to trade it like this where you just jump in without holding support, I think you need to scalp that type of move because again, sometimes you're going to get faked out and I think if you wait for it to hold support and then get in on the high above that break, then that will be a little bit more long term trade for you to take advantage of since the trend is confirming that upward move and that upward momentum if that makes sense. And so those are my two options with trading the pre-market high break. I'll continue to look and research this, but we'll see how that goes. All right, team, so let me know right now in the comments below what you specifically thought about these two options for this strategy. I think for me personally, I'm leaning more towards the finding support at the pre-market high before I jump in, and I just think it's a really risk-adverse setup that can help me grow my day trading accounts. If you want to help support our completely free content, guys, make sure you go check out Trader Mike's Discord. It's a super active penny stock Discord that's got a lot of talented traders there. We hang out there every single day, and I'll include that link in the description below. You can also check out our very own Discord, so if you want to message me or anything like that, I'll include that in the description as well. Another great way to help support us is by checking out Webull. They have zero commissions with stocks and options free paper trading software, plus a lot of other good stuff. And you can sell the stocks and buy options and you get two free stocks for signing up. And so if you want to help support our free content, I'll include that link in the description below as well. With that said, good luck in the markets, guys. Remember to treat your trading account like your bank account and we'll see you all next time. Have a good day, team.